Now let us consider a similar situation again with small modifications. Mixer is tuned to the same frequency of 1 MHz where there is no valid radio station. So right now my output is in the form of noise signal. Now let us consider that when the receiver is tuned to 1 MHz there is one more frequency which is entering into the receiver. Let me call it FSI and let us assume its value to be 1.91 megahertz. So I repeat, my receiver is right now tuned to FS equal to 1 megahertz. So please do not forget that 1 megahertz is nothing but tuning frequency. Now when the receiver is tuned to 1 megahertz, we will make sure that the signal which is entering into the receiver has the bandwidth of 2 FM. So we know that at the input of the receiver there is a bandpass filter. Right now I am saying that the bandpass filter is centered around 1 MHz. This value is 1 MHz and we will only allow a small band of frequencies which will have the bandwidth of twice FM to enter into the receiver. But now let us consider a situation in which the bandpass filter of the receiver does not have very narrow band. It is a wide band bandpass filter which could be the case if we are not using a filter with good quality factor. If the LC filter has low quality factor then its bandwidth will be large if we cannot confine it to twice FM. It will become wide band filter. In this case there are very good chances that some unwanted frequencies also enter into the receiver. So let us assume that a frequency of 1.91 megahertz which is otherwise not falling into the passband of the filter but because the passband of the filter is not narrow the transition from passband to stop band is not very uh, steep we are assuming that the frequency of 1.91 megahertz is also entering into the receiver. Now let us see what is going to be the problem due to this uh, frequency which enters into the receiver. Please do not forget that the tuning frequency is still 1 MHz. It is just that 1.91 MHz has entered into the receiver due to poor quality bandpass filter. So the local oscillator will still generate frequency which is FS plus IF and in this case FS will still be taken as 1 MHz because that's my tuning uh, frequency of the receiver. And hence FO will generate the value of 1.455 MHz even in this case. F4 minus FS will be 455 kilohertz, which is my intermediate frequency. Now, let us try to understand how the output of the mixer is selected. At the output of the mixer, there will be a bandpass filter, and that bandpass filter will be centered at 455 kilohertz. That is simply because from the output of the mixer, I want to choose the signal which is now present at 455 kilohertz and that signal turns out to be FO minus FS. Please note that the bandpass filter has no knowledge whether it has to select FO minus FS or any other frequency component. Because it is centered around 455 kilohertz, the bandpass filter at the output of the mixer will select any signal which is having center frequency of 455 kilohertz. In our discussion, it used to be FO minus FS signal. But now in this situation, there is one more signal which will give rise to a valid intermediate frequency signal of 455 kilohertz. Let us see what is that signal.